28th verse. That's Genesis 1, chapter 1, verse 20, starting at verse 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let him have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the power of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every living, creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl yes. of the air yes. and over every living thing yes. that moveth upon the earth. Yes. And that completes the Old yes. Testament reading. Now, going to the New Testament reading coming from Hebrews, the 11th chapter. The 24th through the 26th verse. Hebrew 11, 24 through 26. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasuries of Egypt. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. This concludes the New Testament reading. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the Holy Word for the good of our souls. Amen.
wanted to be God. All right. That's what's happening in this world today. Everybody wants to be God. All right. Everybody. Everybody. Don't follow that spirit. He will destroy you. All right. And my children, you know, we talk to you all the time with the best. Miss Norma, I mean Evangelist Norma Cofield, Charlotte, the whole community. We talk to our children. Hi, Sam here. <laughs> In the Sam Jeff, they said I usually call. I didn't say okay. That's that's like that. That's everybody's children in here. I see my daughter here. Councilwoman woman, Tina Tally. Amen. Amen. Stand up and just tell me that. We know that I don't need it. Look, there might be some people that you with. Okay. Okay. They need to know who they're talking to or know something about you. Amen. Amen. And oh, actually, I, I really wanted, when I saw you better just go feel something to do here. No, no, it can't be. 
So she don't show me the first time I visited her class. And I was like, wow. Really, all this time I thought the Bible was so holy, you couldn't put that stuff in there. No, 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 no. And people think that you have a different everyone you can go in their house. You got to sit on their table when you come here. They dust it off. Yeah, I got my Bible. I'm sitting here. Did you clean this before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you that's a fact. You make the no not make it. Yeah. He acts as a yeah. he tried to before we get a speak speak because he put spit. Now my mask is legit. <laughs> hey, my mask is legit. And most of the time Tina has to say, Adults are here, you need Tina, wait. God shows you. Now I remember, Mother Child, Lord Jesus, she 
was in that library somewhere. She went to the school at home. Oh, yes, she did. And she would come to us all in a minute. She had things this thick. And I'm like, oh, thank you, Mother Cheryl. <laughs> I did read some of mine. I didn't read all of them. I took it to heart. And that's what we got to do. Take God's word to heart. Amen. Jesus said we are the light of the world. Yes, the salt of the earth. Yes, and he said if this world is in the condition it's in, it's got to do with the church. Amen. You read further in the letters of Paul. He said they're moaning, groaning to hear from the church. Yeah. Even they got sins of the Cynical. They'll tell you in a minute about yourself. They'll tell you in a minute what you're supposed to be doing as a Christian. Now, they might not be doing it, but they sure will tell you. Maybe, whatever reason, maybe it looks bad. I'm here. I pay attention. Sometimes, when I out there in that world, not living there. <laughs> <laughs> But I do talk to people yeah. that I used to know. And that's their main beat. Even people who was in this church, uh, they were just talking to me and said, Where's your church at? Where's your church? I tell them where my church at. And they said, Oh, my grandmother was there. I moved in. Grandmama was in that. Amen. And that was some of my aim. When I started preaching, I was just angry with church folks. Because my mother was done the same way. She loved Jesus. But she could not take what happened. She was lied on everything. And a lot of people have been there, and that's why they're not here. They sit up there talking to them grand people. And those grandkids said, and they wanted to come to sing about it. That's what broke my heart. They wanted to come. I'm not giving them an excuse not to. I told them, well, honey, that, that's all. I said, when we stand before Jesus, we stand alone. And especially if you uh, adult or young adult or what. Now, we can pray our heads off. For you. But what you gonna do with it between you and Jesus? I tell tell mine, look, I've been redeemed. I'm under the blood. Are you? I don't live that way no more. Never did when I got my children and got myself on the right track. I did everything to bring them to every teaching and, and everything. They went all down, and you remember the bad spoken, all down the Then we, we had our children. So they were shocked by nothing. They were saying it was a good place. God led I also was taught by the Holy Spirit. Because the Lord told me one day, because I always felt very insecure because of my, well, I was, I graduated. But I never felt, you know, like God they gave to us like the children, whatever. But, the Lord, and it was free. I, everything I got, I have a certificate. It was free. Because everybody ran to Tenendale, and Tenendale beautiful school, don't get me wrong. But God did what he had to do for me to get there. I didn't have the money. The Lord said, you just follow me. I graduated from the School of Ministry under Pastor Wando Wendell Wallace. He came from Portland and he told us, he said, I have sent you here to Detroit <clears throat> to equip the saints for the work of their ministry. I didn't know. I was just thought it was another good old Bible plan. And I just enjoyed it. Okay. So, Diana, I thank her because she thought it was too. That was a wonderful, beautiful speaker of a man of God. 
See, Lord made way for me. I don't show nothing. I ain't got the children. Even past, when I came here, Reverend Boyd didn't ask me about all that stuff. He said, your trial sermon be such and such in November last. <laughs> and then he said, and I'm going home to pray. <laughs> and that's what I loved about it. Now, he had all that theology and stuff. I learned to respect him because I knew he was a godly man. He wasn't no flesh. He was with us, what, 40 something years, 50? Never have I heard. All I ever heard was what God said. And that's the way he is. You let God tell you. Or furthermore, you just leave it alone. Plant the seed. We need to plant seeds of righteousness. And we need to start planting them in our children now. The only reason I'm here is by the grace of God. Pastor Robinson. What was the little missionary? He had a little missionary that went with him everywhere. Now he would look, and he always targeted the big family because he wanted to build this church, Sunday school. So he targeted us. We were one of the big families. I'm from a family of chiefs. And so he come in, and look, Miss LV, and here they come. And we'd be like, <laughs> we did that to y'all too, Norman. You and uh, Pat. Because you're my brother. See how Lord stepped in and order your footsteps. And we moved next door, or he moved next door to us. And every now and then, they'd be so sweet too. They come on. <laughs> Especially Patty with that little sweetness about her. And they said, Oh, we just stopped in just to see how y'all are doing. And we said, Oh, okay. Thank you. See you later. Yeah. Amen. But then it developed. Next thing I know, I was in the Bible class yeah. of Patty. Yeah. That class was all the chain, as y'all put Some people. That's where I got most. And I think what Eleven Ministers was born out that class. Hallelujah. And it was her mother Hallelujah. opened the door. For us to come in, all of us were there. Were we? we were there in bed, uh, Mr. Levin, Uncle Fei Fei. I'm not going to name them more. <laughs> but we all. And you can see the fruit of that lady. Amen. 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 And that's what we see with Mother Child. Mother Child has grown tremendously. Tremendous way. Amen. And we all have. I see something in this church. Because I've been here for what? Over 30 years or something like that. About 40. 40. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't regret a minute. Right. Because I prayed to the Lord. When I came out of Detroit from uh, Pastor Wendell Wallace's class. Because he told us when we got there, he said, some of y'all are going to be with me three years. And I'm like, three years? I'm enjoying this. <laughs> no, three years. And sure enough, I don't know if it was the exact three years, but you know, in three years, I got rested. And then I had to leave. I had to. And the Lord led me back here because I said, Lord, send me. Where your voice is heard small. Send me where people are hungry for the living bread. And, and you know, I really thought it was me for him. I was me too. I was getting blessed too. When I came back here, you know, I wasn't like, oh, I've been just starved. I ain't been to the same. No. I come in this and I had to have a barrel. Because some of these churches don't have a barrel. All they talk about is prosperity and money, that's all they were going down with. They read the scripture one day and I'm glad I knew the scripture. They said, oh, they was always talking, we will reign with Christ. We will reign. So then I said, they don't forgot the people. He said, but so shall you suffer. 
And we would tell her, I don't suffer. <laughs> Amen. Paul uh, teaching. Embarrassed. I want to say so. We need a balance. The Bible says a false balance. That's where he uses that word, abomination. He wanted his people to be balanced. And they were. I got some of them all. Every one of them. Because the Lord said, I dealt a portion of wisdom to every one of them. And I said, Lord, why, why you do that? And he said, because that's what I'm talking about. It's bringing you together in unity. One is in love. Because if I give it all to you, oh, you know how we are. Amen. So I just wanted to say in that intro, I don't know if I've ever spoke about it. People need to know, that's the testimony. We don't know who's sitting in this pew here today, contemplating whatever, even going to the school of ministry, I can't afford it, why, why, whatever. But stay with that. And that's another thing, I learned to wait. Right. This society keeps us not to wait. You ain't waiting on no. You got instant everything. Microwave. We don't have to. That's why we all lazy people. <laughs> Not all. We got two good, real people who are. You know, I, you know who I'm saying. And these are things that he wants the church to demonstrate to this world who has only one set of standards. Right? One thing. Right. We're it. Peter said, you are to become, for those who don't read, don't know the Bible, a living, breathing, epistle for God. To be read by me. Because they can't hear God. They hear what somebody, I think you did uh, about the culture. It's because they only had, that's the way they live. That's why he said, go into all the world. Don't put them down, that's what they know. I never forget this girl in school. I told her, look, you 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 gonna have to sit down, okay? You gotta sit down. You should go like, what? I looked in her face, cause I said it, so. She was like, oh. And I looked at it, but then I thought about it. Some of these kids are the authority in their own home. So when authority comes to them, they say, I don't know what you're talking about. I take care of it as a great thing. And some things they take care of, they don't need to be taken care of. If you get my grip. Don't push them kids over into an inappropriate place, even when they're in school. Charlotte knows that right time. Wait on those children. Don't label them. First thing we want to do is put a label on them. But Miss Atkins told me, she said, because I was a parent, volunteer, Courtney. And uh, Miss Atkins said, um, I tell you what, you tell your people you try to get in here to volunteer. Come in here because usually she said around about for the board. Fourth grade, maybe. China, is that around that area? Oh, they have to. They got inappropriate stuff in the library that you need to be in there checking in the library and checking that stuff out. And they really got it bad now. It's bad now. Miss Irene will tell you, right, Miss Irene? And they still asking for her. <laughs> you know, like we asked for Miss Irene, she was her mark on it. And they still talk about her. They like, they want somebody to, Amen. to lead them in discipline. Amen. So God said we should be disciplined. Did he say? Amen. We got to get back to that word because we go on our own. And one thing I want to ask you all to do, because I don't have time to do it right now, Romans chapter 1. I want all of us to indulge in that because what we see going on, you know why it's going on? Because they refuse to worship God. They refuse 
refuse to worship idols in their own self. All right. And God, God said, I'm turning you up to a rough state mind. Now, a rough right. state mind is yours. Don't let God get that, that sin. We were born and shaped in this sin and the neck was this. We are sinners, people. Great. This is what's going to lead us home. Amen. Amen. By this grace. And I got to move to one other thing. And that's another thing. We need to. We're always rushing God. How long you sit in that computer? Computer. Two hours. More than that. How you, long you sit at that game? They don't care. Hey Amen. We need to make that comparison and ask myself, Lord, what was that? What I do to be saved? Oh, I went through that whole thing, children, trying to be cool and Christian. Oh, and that's why people started letting everything in their churches too, because they said, this is going this to draw the kids. I said, but I'm a little confused. The things we try to introduce themselves so they don't have to follow that foolishness. You're talking about bringing it in the church. And one of the rappers, you know what he said? Oh, I don't know who it was, but he said, oh, we're going to come through the back now. Why y'all all sitting up in the front? Hallelujah, you know. Uh-uh. They're ripping us off. Spiritual. They don't want no spiritual stuff. I don't want to hear that. I'm not ready. Well, Last time I talked to you, you told me you was grown. Now I'm afraid for you. I'm afraid of all the seeds. And my children know, even my grandchildren, I'm teaching them now. And Chris said to me, he, he laughed, he said, when he said, uh, we're going to grandma's house, you know, Neriah, him and Neriah, they're together. Now, Christian, she's in that place. Um, but they said, we're going to grandma's And so Michael looked at Chris and said, <laughs> yeah, you coming in there with that Bible. Now we're gonna I'm teaching them to put God first. How? Right. Amen. Now when we get to them we go out and have a little fun. Right? I don't I'm I'm not real bad. <laughs> well they can't have no fun. But I told them fun is in funeral. Some of the fun we have. And our children being introduced to them. Killed. They still kill And I went back and repented. We all, we dropped the ball. Every one of them. Because we didn't want to let go of this work. Too. We wanted them to get it. And, and another thing, just, I got a lot of stuff to say, but I'm trying not to say it all. But even our children, I talked to some good minds. Children. Our young boys and boys, young men, black life do matter. But you got to do your part and run away from that mess yeah, right. and get out of there because you know what? You are moving top. I know Christina told me Chris uh, Lee was at a football game or something. And I always tell him, look, when you see them congregate, you better turn and run for the hills because yeah. you are moving top. Devil gonna get you. He ain't worried about them. He worried about you. And she even said she said he didn't even know she was there. And she looked, honey, Leroy showed up did, took off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> took off. <laughs> Who was that ran on his coat from that woman? Who <laughs> tried to seduce him? You got stories all in the Bible. People are right. everyday people. They are not changed right. unless Jesus changed. Because right. we were born, born in the sin and the dick, that's why we got to be born again. Right. Well, I have been this way all my life. When God didn't save you to stay there. <laughs> he knows he got to work with us. He knows we're a piece of work. And that's what's happening. We look at the outside. And I always thank Reverend Wood for that when he ordained my son, Deacon, um, my son, my husband, Deacon Eric Dallas, Deacon Coffey, you weren't in there. It was somebody, oh, was it Reverend Norwood? 
No, he was a minister. So who? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Deacon Griffin. And the Reverend looked at them and said, I got a few good men. Now, in our estimation, because we live with them, we know they love everything. They know ours too. So I don't know why you walk around brand new. <laughs> they know it. And I told them, and I'm going to start listening to my men more. Because Dr. Tony Evans has got a series out, Kingdom Men Rise. Yeah. And they can't rise if we don't put a building up. Now, he put it real good. I like what he said. They're godly men. Godly men, but they cripple. Crippled by what? Life. Somebody hurt them, somebody hurt me. All of us crippled. That doesn't mean we're not God. And we don't love God. And we don't have faith in God. As long as you keep your faith in God. Amen. And everybody was looking uh, at me. What's your, what's your sermon? Topic. I think God. <laughs> like, ain't it? Ain't nothing else. Uh -huh. Ain't nobody going to make you happy. All right. I can say this, and Mama Faye Faye, you started and somebody else gave me another one. Mama Faye Faye gave me a card that said, it is well with your soul. I remember the man who lost his children, or wife, I don't know which one, the wife or something, on the ship. They drive. <clears throat> and he wrote the song. It is well. He went back to the place. He had to go back to the place. You don't you have your grief. You have your grief. But one thing I know, it is well. All right. With my soul. With all my weakness, my shortcomings, my anger, and all that which you have to go out. Now, people talk about Jesus. Somebody said something. The man said, Jesus is a victim. If you read the scripture, it says, You get up and put on Christ. You get up and put him on. How did you put him on? I'm going to give you a few formulas and then I'm going It's up to us. God wants us to do our part. And some of the things, I got this in here, this is what I'll give it said, I get up every morning, I pick one of these. I found them out of a devotional book. And it said, Lord, help me find your purpose for my God, for my life, for my God. Because we were created for His purpose and not nobody else. And Lord, help me. I wish somebody copied this for me. I'm going to give it to you some of these children that are here because you're going to get up and read one of these every day until you see the manifestation of God's glory and God's love to the past. It said, Lord, help me make wise choices and not nothing else. Let me be wise and not foolish. And it said, help me, Lord, get rid of negative emotion. We need to be blessed mentally, physically, emotionally, and above all, spiritually. And they said, Lord, help me be strong when bad things happen. Some people say, bad things happen to Christians. Yes, they do. Because we live in a sinful world. Why do you think Jesus came to rescue us? And take us into a haven of rest and peace, even though we are here with this crooked, perverse, crazy group of people. And I'm not talking about too bad either, because I know why they did. I was there. And somebody preached that. Reverend F. L. Rowe. And little Mrs. Lynch. I remember all the missionaries that, you know, uh, 
Then it told me to talk about law, y'all. Part that I didn't know the work, the parts were. You know all the little things, DTU and all that stuff. They can't walk, right? That's why they said they're working. Now it's time for us to rock. You young people. Amen. 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 I want to hear something. And it said, Lord, help me. We all going to be tempted. I don't know why you think we're not. Jesus himself was tempted. Amen. Amen. Everything that we would have thought to he would. Amen. So he would come like in religion and death. God always used to show me them religious devils. But they always mess with me. But you know the divine chapter always persecuted the free. And when you see a person free in Christ, you can tell the religious devil because he will always try to persecute you. Because he's missing. I'm not missing, but I'm free. And then the Bible in Galatians said, don't get tangled back up with that man. He said, you're a soldier of the cross. And soldiers, when they go into the army, they do not get caught up in this world. They leave it. And he said, Lord, help me to speak words. That's why. It's important that we speak good stuff. Do you know all of us? I'm glad Jesus became a Christian. All of us cursed by somebody. Somebody, even if they called you out your name. And you say, oh, that didn't hurt. This is going to separate my phone. But they guess they do. Change our speech. The book of James said, change your speech. Because that song is deadly. And they said, who can control? Blood God. Blood God. And I work on that every day, and I'm doing pretty good, because I hate it. God tells us to hate sin. And then he says, resist the devil. Who do we resist? People out there resist the God. God is just trying to help me, tell me, come under me, I want to just hold you, I just want to hold you, and cover you, you know, cover you. Like a mother chicken does. Like shit. Yes, you're going to get disciplined. Say hallelujah. Because he said, if I don't, you're a bastard. Now, that's what I said in the old text. But now they would change up a little bit. But now, when we hear this word, and the preacher say the word, you all see people like they ain't never heard you. heard the word. And you done said it. So we're praying. God sees us all, and he knows us all. And then he said, Lord, help me have faith for the impossible. There's nothing too hard for God. Never. I like CC. Anybody heard CC why I knew something? Y'all need to hear that. You know what you said. My God has never. The battle is not ours. The battle that my husband left this for us is not for me to win, but for God. I just had to get under the submission of God, submit to His will, and do what He asked me to do. My husband left me for a lot of years, so I thought He was. And He said, We all have to be with this man. What's the problem? You believe in everybody else. You can tell us about a new Christ. Why? Because we don't have that. Like we have that, they say, yeah. Oh, girl, you need to go out there. You need to go try this. Woo! We got quiet about you. And they say, Lord, help me to know your will for my life. And Lord, help me move into the future. You have for me. Now, you know what Jeremiah said? And I gave it to all the graduates, my kids. God says, I know the plan that I have for you. And my plan for you is to have a bright future and a great life. If you obey and 
lift it to God. Keep my command. I don't know why people say we don't have to follow the Ten Commandments so much. It does with God. The Ten Commandments do with God and man. What does he say in the Old Testament? Love God and love, uh, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength and then Love your neighbor. And you can't love your neighbor like God can love through you to your neighbor. So some people are just getting it. They just neighbor. But everybody is a neighbor. But you can learn. You can come out of the submission of Jesus Christ. He just wants us to see how much we love him. Need him. He wants us to be children with him. We're his children. He loves us. And we get that. It should have been proven when he died on that cross and took the nails. And took that beating. And that beating, if you talk to any doctor, no man could have did. That's why God said, I'm a fair question. Good side, no Where? He knew he couldn't find no man. And God laid down his right, Jesus, as God. And all you hear people, I don't know, I ain't laying down, come on, come on. You better lay it down. Sometimes God's going to change you to lay it down. So you can grow and come out of your step. Because we're not self. I used to get people to deny yourself and take up your cross and follow me. Jesus never told you to get his cross you there.
here in the sanctuary, and then Saturday the FCC choir rehearsals at three o'clock. Three o'clock. So please keep that in mind. Also, we have some announcements here, and we give congratulations to Amari here. Who is
You are loved. You are blessed. And you are forgiven. And in time, you forgive. Amen. And I am Prepare to be here. Keep everybody, always keep everybody in prayer. Each and every one of us until we meet again. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Now and Thank you.